Hi guys, Joseph the World here, and yet again on this channel, we are talking about another disgusting nonce. The disgusting man you see on your screen right now is Christopher Lane, a 24-year-old at the time who was speaking to multiple decoys or fake accounts that he believed to be children, two 14-year-olds and one 13 year old i believe a week prior to the actual non-sting uh he attempted to meet up with one of the 14 year olds or one of the fake 14 year old girls luckily it obviously didn't go as planned as he didn't show up for whatever reason that forced the one of the predator hunting groups that were acting as a decoy to come to his house and confront him while his dad and mother and uh, his girlfriend or fiance at the time was there with him before we continue i quickly just want to mention a few things one in the description as always or as mostly uh, a link to the full non-sting will be left in the description in case you do want to go check it out i will warn you the quality or the camera quality the recording quality whatever you want to call it isn't the best and there is footage out there of this sting in better quality, but I could not find a full non-sting, weirdly enough. But yeah, and the second thing is the family of this nonce. Obviously, they weren't involved and didn't know he was a nonce, but they have obviously been harassed and stuff by people that have just been outraged by the fact that he was a nonce. Please do not go out and harass them. They're innocent in this situation. They didn't know. Uh, they, what they? I mean, she's not married to them anymore. They were forced to move because people were showing up to their house or to their flat or whatever they were living at the time, uh, and was harassing them. So please, 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 if you do know these people, do not go out and harass them. It's just not needed. They're innocent. They did not do anything in this. She even went on an interview on the BBC and stated how hard it was for her to uh, find out about this and the harassment and stuff. So please, 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 please do not go out and harass anybody. Okay, let's continue. Weirdly enough, this 24-year-old was actually friends, and I mean friends with her children in real life, where he would go to the skate park with a bunch of 16 to 14 year olds or, and stuff which is really weird enough as as well as as you're taking the fact that he was talking to other children or what he believed to be children in indecent conversations where he sent pictures of himself down there if you know what i'm talking about and were engaging in other conversations i mean it was the first uh messages he even sent he asked what a she the fake 14 year old asked what he was doing and he said currently laying in bed uh masturbating so it pr and he just stated her age multiple times by the way all these fake decoys did and he still sent messages like that he even that was before they even oh sorry that message where he sent about um doing that to himself uh was after she stated that he she was 14 so there's no excuse also i think he was talking about murdering his mother who was uh disabled and in a wheelchair apparently they argued a lot and he was contemplating beating her in the head with a baseball bat now whether or not he was being sarcastic is still bad i mean i think we've all said horrible things about people maybe in messages and stuff but i don't think i'd ever talk about murdering someone that's mad but what actually happened to christopher lane what happened to this disgusting pedophile well let's find out he was sentenced to 32 months in jail and i am uncertain if he was made to be put on a sexual harm prevention order but i believe he was put on the sex offender sex offenders register for uh five years so i believe this took place in 2016 maybe earlier i'm not sure 
but he's probably off it by now. I will be off very soon, which is disgusting. Two years isn't enough. And a bit I forgot to share in the beginning, these decoy accounts weren't even the same people. It was multiple predator hunting groups, and it hasn't been shared, but God knows if he was even talking to anybody else. And what's weird in a non-sting, he cares more about the fact that he won't be able to hang out with his 14-year-old to 16-year-old mates anymore because he likes skateboarding with him. And actually, that's the good title for this video. He is the skateboarder nonce. So, Christopher Lane, the skateboarder nonce, was more concerned about him possibly not being able to see his children friends anymore and skateboard with them than he is that he was talking sexually with a uh, multiple 14 year olds and a 13 year old luckily it wasn't them but god what is wrong with this dude it feels like honestly nonces and not even from this planet sometimes they come up with the weirdest shit i've ever seen covering on this channel and also the fact that he didn't care enough to care more he cared more about hanging up not being able to hang out with minors anymore than he did than his wife and dad and mum. It, it's disturbing. Disgusting as well. That's all I have left to say. I have no clue where he is now. I hope he has no semblance of a resemblance of a normal life anymore. Because he'll probably get recognised a lot. And yeah, that's all we can do. These nonsense don't get long enough in jail, honestly, in my opinion. But yeah. That's been Joseph the World. If you want more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit.